And Ron, welcome to Reach Your Channel! <laughs> <laughs> Hello Ron, welcome to Reach Your Channel! My name is Chanan and I did watch the latest Star Wars movie the other day at the cinema and it was just like amazing. So I really got like inspired from Ray. And like the beautiful, beautiful Daisy who plays like Ray in the Star Wars movies. And um, she's like so pretty and I really want to like recreate her makeup and her hair style. Like with the three bonds right here. So if you want to see how I did that, then just keep on watching. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to prime my face using the Face Protect Lotion from MAC. It's like so hydrating and I think like Ray has like such a hydrating look in her face. I don't know if that makes any sense, but yeah, she's got like such a flawless face and skin and like everything about her is like so perfect. But yeah, my skin isn't that perfect, but I'm going to try her makeup look anyway. We on to foundation now. Um, I think Ray looks like sun-kissed and glowy, so I'm using a white liquid foundation. This is the MAC Mineralize foundation in NC25. I usually have NC20, but yeah. As I said, she looks quite tanned, so NC25 is going to be perfect, I guess. Just using a Real Techniques Beauty Sponge and dab the foundation all over my face. Ray is wearing such a nice, natural kind of makeup look, but I think she looks still like contoured a little, so I'm going to contour as well. I'm using the next wonder stick in medium and I'm using this dark shade to contour around my face. And my nose, of course. And now I'm moving on to concealer. I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in 15 and just place that like literally everywhere. I think I need like a little bit of an extra coverage. Now I'm blending this in with like the same Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. First of all, I'm going to blend in like the highlighting shades, like light concealer. And for the dark concealer, like for the Contouring color, I'm using a tiny sponge. Just because I can work more precise with this one. Since she has got like such a glowy face, I'm not going to like bake underneath my eyes or anything. I'm just going to lightly like set underneath my eyes with a translucent powder and this um, angled brush and just dab that on the concealer I just put on. And blend that out of course. Now I'll just go about the cream colors I just created with Hula Light from Benefit.
this seems like so weird but I think as I said she looks like so glowy and she's got like a highlighting effect on her cheekbones so I'm trying to just slightly um, highlight <laughs> I'm using uh, this sleek makeup uh, palette and this gorgeous champagne shade right here and a fluffy brush from BH Cosmetics and I just dab off that excess and maybe put a little bit of it on the back of my head already and now I'll just lightly highlight just like that That's it. Now for my eyebrows I'm going to go natural as the whole look and I'm using the Make Me Brow Eyebrow Gel from Essence and just brush through my eyebrows. It's the darkest shade by the way. I think they only got like a light one and a dark one. I highly recommend this product. It's like amazing. Reminds me of like the Gimme Brow from Benefit, which is pricey. So if you want to try a brow gel out, then go grab yourself this one. I'm going to put a little bit of the translucent powder all over my eyelid. like that so now moving on to mascara for the lashes I'm using uh, benefit they are real just because I think it's like the most natural looking mascara that I own so yeah I'm just going to place that not all over my lashes but a tiny bit So the last part of Ray's makeup look is um, the lips, of course, and I think, like, this is so difficult for me. Like, in some scenes it looks like she's got, like, a red tint kind of lip look, and then in, like, other parts of the movie it looks almost like she's wearing a pink one, so I couldn't choose be between, like, red and pink, so I thought of, like, mixing something together. All the products I'm using are from MAC. First thing I'm going to use is the lip liner. This is the Pro Longwear Lip Pencil from MAC in Oh Honey, which I highly recommend as well. This is like perfect, like for everything. <laughs> it's just like a pink nudie kind of shade, which is amazing you guys. And it goes on like so smooth which I love, like MAC lip pencils are like the best ever and as an actual lipstick I'm just mixing um, Snob from MAC which is this pink shade and Amorous which is this almost like plumpy shade so I'll start like with the lip pencil I just think using a lip pencil makes your lips appear like so much bigger, which is cool. And um, just dabbing that snob color on. I think this is okay, yes. Looks like her lips almost. And now popping on a little bit of this darker color as well. Yes, that's okay, I guess. Yeah, I think I'm fine with that. <laughs> so now that's it for the makeup, and now moving on to the hair. 
Oh my gosh, I'm like so excited right now. <laughs> Haven't been trying this out before, but... Okay, so to start this hair look, <laughs> I'm going to tie up um, three ponytails. So, starting like with the first one right here. I cannot really describe it, but I will show you anyway. It's like almost ponytails, but on the last step, just do this little thing. And then I just grab another hair part of this thing right here. And just do like the same thing. Just like that. I really hope you can see this, you guys. And moving on to the last hair piece now. Just like that. And <laughs> that looks funny, right? Um, and now I'm just grabbing some bobby pins. <clears throat> I don't know how many I'm going to use. And we lost one member of the family. I think of starting with the first one I created. And the hair that's like, <laughs> I don't know, you can see this. I really hope you do. Well, I just separate these two parts. Just like that and twirl that around like that and now I'm <laughs> you guys this is like so funny okay she's got like so much shorter hair than me but so I don't know if it's going to look okay just like that and then I'll pin that up with two bobby pins and now I'll just do the same with the second one And again, I'm going to pin this up with two bobby pins, one on the right and one on the left side. Again, pin that up with two bobby pins. Just like that. And now for the baby hair. Just like that. And that thing. I can't even see it, you guys. That's fine. Just looks like that. And I think that's almost like her hairstyle. And the makeup. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm fine with that look. That's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video with me. If you did like it, then give this video a thumbs up, please. If you want to, you can definitely subscribe to my channel as well, so you don't miss out on any new videos I post. And if you want to talk about Star Wars with me, then go hit me up on Twitter or Instagram. The links to my social medias are in the description box. And thank you so much again. Uh, yeah, 
I hope to see you soon. Goodbye.